of all the choices you could have made for your life, why did the RV life appeal to you? It felt like freedom. Hey, everybody. This is my friend, Debbie. And she's going to tell us all about her amazing Lazy Days RV. We're going to get a tour in a minute. I decided to go full time uh, last year. I have been wanting to do this since about 2016, but I had to figure out how to do it, how to get work on the road. And so I planned and I finally bought my RV in 2021 and moved in full time last year around August. And I've been traveling on the road ever since. It's all original. So I didn't want to mess with too much of it because it's it was in, kept in beautiful shape. But I wanted to kind of get rid of the old funky wallpaper and some other things. So I painted it and I decorated it and I just made it my own. And where have you gone so far? Here, Arizona. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I've been to Utah. I've been to California. I've been to Tennessee. But I, I'm just starting. So I've got a lot of places to go. You know, boondocking is fun because you're out there and there's nobody else around. Mm -hmm. I like space when I'm camping. Mm -hmm. So I I enjoy all aspects of it. I like all types. I really don't like to be in parking lots, though. Oh, me You know, that kind of thing. I, I That really doesn't do much for me. Yeah. Power, I have 400 watts of solar. I have a 2,000 watt inverter. And I only have two AGM batteries at this point. So I can't, like, go hog wild once the sun goes down. But I get what I need out of it. While the sun's up, I can use my air fryer and cook. And that gives me that, you know, power for that. But at nighttime, I just really want to be able to turn on my TV or charge things. Say hi to her, puppy. This is my little girl, Izzy. Prettiest travel dog in the world. Yeah, she's really mild. She's got a gentle little spirit about her. She just wants to be with, you know, with me, yeah. with people. How did she take to uh, traveling? Completely fine. Like yeah. nothing. As long as she had her little pink bed. Um, so what did you uh, decide to do for work while you were on the road? So I decided I wanted to go back to school and become a certified RV inspector. So I went to Texas 2021 and I got certified and then I did that for about six months, went back to school and took some of the advanced tech courses. So now I kind of do both. So I'm an RV inspector and I do a tech for some, you know, small repairs kind mm -hmm. of thing and preventative maintenance. Mm -hmm. And I'll put her uh, website address down below, but tell us what it is. It's DubsRVServices.net. Luckily, she's also doing a YouTube channel. It's new, yes. but her content is amazing. So yeah. tell us the name of your channel. Debs RV Services. I'm putting on there like some of the inspections that I go to, and I'm showing people what I find. I'm also doing other tips like how to, you know, preventative maintenance. And, mm -hmm. you know, if I go on repairs, I, I will video like what I'm doing there mm -hmm. and you know, even if I struggle and I'm having a hard time figuring out how to do something, mm -hmm. that's going to be on there so that people can see my mistakes yeah. too and learn from it. Well, great. Can we get a tour? Absolutely. Okay, Deb, tell us about this sweet rig. Okay. So it's a 2000 Lazy Days. It's a 26 and a half foot rear bath. It has a Ford E450 chassis. Runs great. Prior owners took very good care of it. So all these cushions are original. They're super comfortable. This was a wall that had like a shelf thing on it. I took it off and I got this picture. So I repainted um, all the walls and I painted in here. This is like the bathroom area. There's nice. a shower. There is the toilet is over here. And then you have the refrigerator here. Propane? Yes, it's propane and electric. This is kind of the bath area and I don't use the sink. I put my Berkey here because I wanted a place for my Berkey and I figured I can use the kitchen sink and I don't need to use the bathroom sink. Then in the kitchen, we have a, you know, the stove is here and there is an oven. Um, I use it sometimes, but not a lot because I don't want to burn through my propane. So what I do is I use, I pull out an air fryer if I want to bake. There's a double sink here and then there's a little lift it comes up so it extends out the counter space which i like i did replace this faucet here that was a fun little job and then there's a microwave which is used for storage um i don't really use my microwave much <laughs> and then i have this i won't show you the inside because all my stuff is hidden in there not nice and orderly there's another more space down here for all of my canned goods and dry stuff and then i have some drawers here and then the dining room area is good for my office and for eating I love it. It's just perfect little space. Then I have this here, which is a cute little uh, new purchase, but it's a USB light so that I can turn that on and there's three different settings and then you can turn it off. 
So that works great for a little ambiance at night or morning light, and then you don't have to use your battery power. The other thing I replaced were I put in LED lights. So the, they had the original type of bulbs in here, and I replaced them with LED lights. So it's more efficient. So this is like that, um, it's just the peel and stick, but I wanted to give this like a, a better look than that ugly wallpaper. So I put this over top and, and then I got a magnetic um, knife holder. This originally was for, it was made with two couches and then you could either sleep up top or you could pull these together and make a king size bed. Well, because it's just me, I decided I didn't want to keep making my bed every day. So I just pulled this out, this couch out and made it into a twin size bed. So it stays permanent and I don't have to worry about, you know, putting all this stuff away. And I have more storage room up there now. I have my, it's my TV and I have the blinds here. The prior owner put brand new blinds in and they work out really nice. So they can just either come down like this or you can bring it from the top down. How do you feel about the storage in here? You know, I really think the Lazy Days has a lot of good storage on the inside. So all these are storage cabinets. You know, you can open these and I have a lot of my canning stuff in here. So you open and close here. There's one on this side and then there's one over there too. So there's lots of good storage. Outside there's some storage. I could use a little bit more, but you know, I just have to get rid of more stuff. I don't need that much stuff. But I use this upper area here and I put tons of stuff up there. There's a ton of storage in that overhead yeah. cab. That's the gas mileage. Eight miles to the gallon. I know, I know. So that's the bad part. Yeah. It doesn't do well. Yeah, the gas is like something that you just have to deal with. All right, will you show us the outside? Sure. So the outside of the RV, what I did to this is I buffed out all the oxidation that was on it. So I made it look better, shiny and new. And it's well taken care of. The awning doesn't work. So the awning, I strapped it down and it's something that I need to replace, something I'm working on. But when you're out in the desert and it's super windy, you feel like you can't even use them anyway. So I'm not too worried about it. You'll notice these giant windows. One thing I didn't mention on the inside was that I love about the lazy days is the access to the outdoors from inside. You can have the best views with the lazy days with these windows. You have two giant windows, one on either side and then one in the very back, along with the other few windows here. This model was made by Lazy Days up until they basically closed their doors. So when you see them driving around, they still look the same. So I have a Honda CRV. It's a 2014. It's the last year, model year, that you can actually use this as a toad. I absolutely love it. It's lighter weight, too. And um, one thing that I didn't realize is how many things you needed to set up for a toad. So that was a big learning curve for me. And it's just something that if you're going to do that, you want to make sure that you figure out all the things you're going to need. Well, thanks, Debbie, for giving us a tour and letting us hear more about your RV life. Everybody, I am going to put all of Debbie's links below in the description and pinned at the top of comments to her repair service, her website, and her new YouTube channel. Check it out. It's very cool. Bye, everyone. Bye.